This is the simplest way that I've found to sell digital products online. To get a little page set up like this to sell your product, all you need to do is head to gumroad.com and on the right here, click Start Selling. You can sign up with one of these services here or you can actually just sign up with your email account. Once you're in, you can just simply click here to create your, your first product. However, if you plan on making multiple products, it's very handy to know how to simply go up here to your products tab and add a new product from here. Then you see you got a few options, like a digital product, course or tutorial, physical goods, audiobooks, podcasts. This isn't just a service for digital products. You have a few different options, but we're gonna stick with a digital product for now. And I've created a bit of a test product just for this video. I'll call it an ink overlay pack. So I've basically got a series of images here, which uh, I've upscaled and they're high resolution sort of ink overlay packs made with AI. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to pop this onto Gumroad as a bit of a, a test to show you how it works. So I'll give it a name, ink overlay pack, and I'm gonna choose my currency. There's US dollars here. For some reason, this is a bit grayed out. But I've got US dollars here, I can choose a different currency. I'm gonna go with US and make it say 9.99. I click digital product and I hit next to customize. Now I've already got a name here, so I wanna start filling out some of these fields. So what you can do is give it a basic description. Maybe it's good to give it a few dot points. We see we get a preview here over the right so we can see what we're doing. But right now we're given a description uh, this is just a, this is not going to exist after I've made this video, but I can give it uh, a custom address if I want to, like ink overlay. So that way we don't just get some kind of random name attached on the end. And you're going to want to upload some images. So I'm just going to click upload images or videos. I can choose an external link or I can go to Unsplash. I'm going to go to computer files, choose my image. And now I have like a header image for my page. You can see kind of how it looks over here. The head down the thumbnail, and again, same thing. I upload an image that I've made. 600 by 600 pixels is the size. And now I have a thumbnail image here. And when I scroll down, I can change what the button says. It says I want this or buy this, pay. I'm going to keep it as I want this because it's a little bit fun. Now, as a summary, you can put in things you're going to get. So I'll pop in here in JPEG format. I can also add additional details, and these appear on the right hand side. So this is optional, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Then I click add detail. Maybe it's comprised of several smaller packs. And I give it a value of $6.99. And maybe another pack here. And again, $6.99. And then of course, I can also add in there another detail like a tutorial. Maybe I add a, a MP4 file or something they can download. But I'm gonna leave the value blank because you don't actually have to have that on there. Also, you can actually integrate this with Circle. So circle.so I think it is, or you can invite people to your Discord server if they purchase. We can change the price, or we can actually set, set it so the customers can choose what price to pay if that's the sort of thing you're interested in. Now we can also offer variations of this product. So different versions, and it's as simple as adding a version. Once you add one version, you'll need to add a second version if you're gonna have different versions. Uh, I'll come back to this. Uh, I don't wanna get too caught up in that right now. But you also have some settings here, like you can limit the product sales or choose a quantity. Because it's digital, I'm just gonna say no. Uh, so choose whether to show how many sales you've had on the page and, you know, the license key if you want that. Uh, if you are selling an ebook, you know, you need to charge VAT tax. You know, you can put that on, turn that on as well, or even specify a refund policy here if you want to do that. I'm just going to leave that blank for now, nice and simple. So we've got our basic product put together, but we need to add our file. Up top here, there's a content tab. I click on that. And I can actually type out a full page if I want to. I can insert an image. So I can actually say, uh, you know, download your... So you could probably upload a video to YouTube or something and maybe embed it in there, depending on what you want to do. But uh, I like to keep it simple for now. This is just an option that you have. But there is an option here. Because we're talking about versions before, if I head back to product and add two versions, I'm just going to say version one, which has an additional amount of nothing. I'm just going to say standard pack. Add another version. Maybe I say neon add-on, added neon overlays or something like that. Maybe that's an extra four dollars. Now d keep in mind this is pretty cheap. Depending on what you're selling, you can increase the price, decrease the price. It's pretty much up to you. Uh, and if I use those two versions and go back to content now, over here it says editing version one, or I can edit the neon add-on. So I can actually have two different landing pages, two different information, two different files depending on which version they actually order. So that's just uh, something to keep in mind if you wanna sell an, a pack or something like that or a file and have different versions of the product. But for now, I'm gonna go back to the product and I'm actually going to just remove these versions by hitting bin. And I'm gonna add a file. So I'm gonna go over here to insert file, 
computer files. However, if you have an existing product, you can link to that, or you can import from Dropbox or even embed a video. So you can actually sell access to a video if you want to. I'm just gonna to go to computer files. I'm gonna upload my zip file. This is about 374 meg. So I hit up open and it starts to upload. Keep in mind you can add things like images, you can insert a button or insert a tweet. You have a whole bunch of other options up here. You can put a code block in there. So you can put whatever information you want on this page. It doesn't have to just be a file. Keep in mind that the upload limit is about 16 gig. However, there are some other limitations. So if you're using uh, pay what you want and people can pay about zero, zero dollars for that product, then you know the max product size can be 250 meg. But if you're giving this product a price, so you know 99 cents or more, 16 gig is the upload limit. So now our file is uploaded and I can add another if I want to, but for this in particular, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna hit publish and continue. And of course I do have to confirm my email address to go ahead with that. So I will quickly do that. So I've confirmed my email address. I'm gonna hit publish. And now I have a product page. I can copy the URL and share it on my website to link off to, but I also wanna make sure I check some things so I can go to my categories here and find a suitable category here. I'm just gonna go with, maybe I type search. So I'm gonna say, say design graphics, assets and templates. So to get the idea, and you got a few other options here, but otherwise it's looking pretty good. So we can actually go and take a look at this product. So I'm gonna actually just Click the button to preview. And this is our product page. We've got our graphic at the top, bit of information, people can buy it. You can see we've got our warrior pack, techno drip, grunge pack, and then the video tutorial without a value. And it's got the size there automatically. So we've actually already got a product page that we can use. However, we might not be happy with how this looks, the background being white and this being black. There's more we wanna do. So we can actually customize the look of our shop. Because if I go here, to this name, Active Body. I actually do have this little shop front here that I can use. So I'm gonna head back to my dashboard and I can come down here, the bottom to settings. And it's good, you kinda of wanna go through and check all of these to make sure you're happy with them. But I'm gonna to go to profile here, username, I wanna keep that same. I can go through and customize some of this. So my profile here, Active Body, it's just a test name I have. I can just call it weird name I had from years ago. I can fill out a bio if I want to. I can give myself a logo, all pretty simple. If I click on this, Close it, I can upload a logo. So let's put my Creator Impact logo in there for now. I can connect up to social media, but this is where we can start to actually play with the design of our site. At the moment, the background color is white. I'm gonna change that to maybe like a dark charcoal type gray. The highlight color, I don't like pink. I'm gonna change that to like a blue color or somewhere in between. And I see I've got a little preview over here showing it, but I can also change the font. I'm gonna leave it as inter, I think that looks a bit better. I can turn on or off which products are displayed on my home page. I can update those settings. If I switch back to my shop, I'm gonna refresh. Things are looking more the way I want, but there's still a bit more we have to do. For one, we have to be able to accept payments and just sort of check that everything is the way we need it. Now we'll cut touch on this briefly. If you go to team, you can invite people to be team sort of members to manage. If you go into payments, you need to basically tell them what country you're in. You tick these, click save, and you choose to link up with your Stripe account if you want to, or PayPal. I'm gonna stop for a sec because it's a good idea to set up PayPal if you want to actually accept payments by PayPal. So I'm gonna click connect with PayPal. This is what the process looks like. And now I can actually pay by PayPal as well. Just keep in mind that uh, I had to switch browsers for this to actually show up. So it's not something that'll sort of pop up straight away for some people, but it's definitely worth adding there for a bit of convenience. But I actually just use my bank account. I can put my name in here, BSB, because I'm in Australia. So you fill out your bank details and you get a little email saying it's payday and some money comes in when you're ready. So you can fill all this information out to actually get paid at the end of the week or whenever they pay, or you can choose to uh, you know, set up Stripe or PayPal if you want to do that as well. So that is also pretty handy, but uh, I like just having the payment method to bank account. That works for me. Of course, you can update your password. There's some third-party analytics you can set up. So Google Analytics and add in some other snippets in there. And there's also some advanced settings. So you can set up a custom domain. So that's something to look into as well. 
At the moment, for a simple process, having Gumroad just by itself is pretty good. You can also set up affiliates and that kind of thing. So you can set up applications. Go in there, explore those, make sure there's nothing there you don't want to check out. But for the sake of keeping things simple, that is how you can get started by listing a digital product. But I'm also going to check out, head on over to checkout over here. And you can actually kind of customize that a bit as well. Go to checkout form. And you can add in custom fields. So if you look on the right over here, it's a bit hard to see because it's a bit choppy. But you've got what's actually included. You can have give as gift and actually have gift details with a message. You've got the name so people can pay by card or email. But you can add in a custom field here if you want to as well. So it could be text or a checkbox or some terms that they agree to. And you can apply that to all products or select products. So that's something you can actually customize. Um, I personally don't see the need for this for most people. But you can also offer a discount if you want to and customize that as well. There's also upsells. So if you have more than one product, you can also offer an upsell. Great way to sort of like combine products together. I click new upsell and I can add in some information there as well. So it's all pretty straightforward. You get in there, check out the forms and it's all, it's very easy to do. And the cool thing about this also is you can also set up an affiliate account for people who want to actually make a bit of money selling your products as well. So I'm gonna pop a video on the screen right now showing you how to do that. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Uh, hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.